hoteliers and beach operators have been challenged to use an orthodox means of diversifying products in a bid to boost Mombasa sector. Diversification of offered products um, is set to go hand in hand with the launch of the new 350 million shilling state of the art cruise ship handling facility that will offer different services to tourists. KTN's Ashley Mazuri has more. Ranging from its crystal clear waters, white coral reefs, to its serene sea vegetation, Kenya's marine park has been vastly known for attracting both local and international tourists. However, for regular visitors, such sites are nothing to fuss about. This may soon change with the addition of water spots to the Mombasa recipe in a bid to liven up the marine experience. We want to encourage investors to come up with new ventures in the tourism sector. As the festive season kicks in, the demand of water sports tourism, including jet skiing, glass bottom sightseeing, among others, will rise. It is due to such reasons that the authority plans on ensuring quality services and water sport operators of good conduct for the safety of their clients through acquisition of insurance and certification of vessels and crew. So we really want to open up uh, this park, introduce them to the people. The upgrade of the marine activities will go hand in hand with the new state of art mode and cruise ship handling facility that is meant to replace the 1926 built Mombasa Port Shade 1 and 2 in a bid to further boost cruise ship tourism. According to Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala, the project is expected to be completed in July next year and ready for use in September when the next cruise tourism season begins. This season, Mombasa has received two vessels and more are expected to bring holiday makers between this month and March next year. Ashley Mazuri, KTN News.